Hi, welcome back to the Minimal Cast Increase Your Productivity with TMOX series. I'm going to talk about making starter templates today. When you start using TMOX, you're going to be getting tired of making a bunch of new windows and window panes when you start a project. For example, let me go to one of my open source projects. I gotta, I gotta pick one that doesn't have Tmux windows open, so let's just go here. And I'll come to this project, I'll run the Tmux command, I gotta split the screen, I gotta create a new window, um, I gotta call that new window git, I'm gonna split the screen there, and th that becomes old real quick. So what I want to do is uh, make a starter template that gives me a good general working framework of the Tmux windows and how, which windows I want, which windows I want split. So let's kill this session. Now I have two starter templates that I use. One is for Rails spe uh, specific work and the other one is a general purpose one. Let me go over the general purpose one first. <coughs> Excuse me. The general purpose one is I have them located in my home directory. They are called, both called Tmux Go. The Rails one is called Tmux Go hyphen Rails. But this Tmux Go script is my general purpose one. Let me open it up and it's a bash script simply and what happens within this one it opens up five windows and it also names the session what the current directory I'm in is meaning I'm in this minimal QuickBooks directory there that's what the name of this session is going to be, and that's what that base name uh, PWD does. So it moves to this command here where it makes a new session. It detaches the session as it makes it and names it the minimal or the, the minimal quickie books. From there, it's going to start creating the windows. This first command is rename window because when you make a new session in Tmux, it already makes a window at the first point here in the first index. So we're going to rename that first window as Vim. I'm then going to split that window horizontally. Now I actually call this vertically because the horizontally doesn't really make sense. The um, it more is doing a vertical split or what we call in Vim as a vertical split. But anyway, Tmux calls it horizontally. So that's what this first window is doing. It's making the Vim, it's naming the window Vim, splitting it vertically, and it's selecting the first pane. So when I go to that window, and I'm going to do this in a second, it goes and that pane is active or selected which is the one on the left. It also resizes the pane to the right 30 lines. Now let me go ahead and, and launch this script so as I'm talking we get a better understanding of what it does. Alright so to launch I just simply call the script. It's a marked executable bash script so it runs and we're going to see this first window I was talking about and I'm going to open it up too so we can get an understanding so what happened in this first window it was named Vim if you see in the lower left hand corner it's named Vim it's split again I, I like the this is why I think vertical is better um, semantics is because this is splitting it vertically is it not and um, now when I uh, the select pane is meaning that I'm in this left pane is the T0 this is called the zero pane 
and so instead of starting off over here which would be T1 I I, I am over and my left pane is selected now the resizing here I, so I made this particular pane 30 lines larger to the right that's what this resize pane this gives me more room for my vim and I usually run tests over here or run a search over here or something and I want more room for my vim window now going to the next window here this is called the git window and this is right over here and by the way this a uh, command just means that it adds it as the next index here is the n switch this is for again to name that window and th this window is exactly the same as the first so it has exactly the same characteristics as the first so does this third window which I call general purpose um, okay actually the general purpose window does not have the re the resizing there so it's just more of an even split and I'm moving these windows by doing the prefix like three command there or prefix two I do prefix five to go to e links prefix one that's how I'm moving you can also do prefix n that goes to the next window prefix n prefix p prefix p it goes to the previous window and let's take a look now at this logs window which is prefix four that one I split split horizontally because logs I like to have as much screen width as possible because of all the output that goes into logs let's go back here and look at the e links command this one's a little different now because right here I'm sending a command to the window too so not only are we opening a new window but we're sending a command there having just a command after the naming of the window will send that command to the window let's take a look at the window again real quick that's what it looks like um, now here if you can remember in the beginning we detached the session so here we're going to reattach the session excuse me right here so that's our final command and this command here so this command would select that first window so when we open up and attach the session here we're going to get the first window which is the vim window so there you have it there is a overview of doing your own template your own starter template for tmux now there is a project called tmuxinator that does a very similar thing and more i have not used tmuxinator just because i think it was it's a little more complex than what i really need um, I just use these two starter templates right now, which you can see both of them. I'll have the link. They're both on my GitHub account, so you can check them out. And it's just satisfied the need for me, and it's a great way for you to get started without having to add another uh, library to the mix. So thanks for watching this installment of Minimal Cast series, Increased Productivity with Tmux.